Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm 7177 here, and welcome to Darkness Falls. We're on Darkness Falls for beta version 27 on Alpha 21 here. Now let's go ahead and get through these. Yes, welcome. End of the road. Okay, while we're here, let's go ahead and we're going to start talking about our settings and everything that's going into this. This will be a playthrough on the new Super City map made by Shade in the Darkness Falls Discord. Um, it basically comes prepackaged now with all the versions of Darkness Falls um as well let's see here let's get this first part going and we'll keep going over all of our settings we'll put our backpack on um, yep now as for the class i'm pretty sure i'm gonna go labor it's my normal starting class that i like and um, we get the crafting things and all the other good stuff to go along with it so let's go ahead and start that bring that down we'll bring that down why not cool all right so our first quest basically is just right over here all right, so once again, I've talked about we're on Super City here. Uh, we're playing a warrior difficulty right now, and that's to basically... Let's get How a quest from her. You? Do you have any jobs? Nurse you back to health, please. Can I trust you? You definitely can. Kind of. All right, so yeah, um, we're on warrior, which is basically two down from max. If it gets too easy, we might turn it up to survivalist. But what that does is every difficulty change, it increases the damage the zombies do, decreases the da damage we do, makes our food and water go down faster, and also increases our game stage. Um, hello. Do you have any jobs, Jin? Um, so in the beginning, it's always easier to kind of do fetches because we don't have to kill everything. We can just technically just jump in, grab our stuff, and get the heck out. So... Um, the headshots will still do 100%. Game stage is basically like the scaling difficulty of the game. The higher your game stage, the more you will like see harder zombies and et cetera, et cetera. Shame sandwich here. So um, next up is we are on the default one hour, which is the uh, 60 minute basically day cycle here. We have, a, we have 18 hour days, which gives us 45 minute daytime in the game and 15 minutes of night. Max daytime zombies is 64. The blood rune frequency is set at every five days. And then it will... Um, we need to get an axe and stuff going. Uh, five days with a frequency of two. Whoops, it's not arc. With um, Basically, that means that starting at day five, we can have a blood moon going all the way up till day seven, where it'll be guaranteed. And then it'll start over again, going up to day five, etc. Uh, we do have some stone, so let's make some sharp rocks. Darkness Falls has these... Lovely sharp rocks. And then we'll make a few sticks to get going with it as well. Let's actually favorite that. Uh, rocks as well. Sharp rocks. I'm clicking through all the things. We'll favorite that. Axe. What do we need? Plant fibers. That's easy enough. Ooh. I actually, I want an axe first. Try to move away from that. Maybe we'll get some... Uh, Bones and stuff, and I can make a bone knife out of that. There we go. Bone knife. I think it's actually five. Yep. Hey, there we go. Lots of it from that. Oh, okay. So, um, XP multiplier is set at 75% because I plan on doing like a lot of killing and stuff. I don't want to overlevel too much, which is a very real thing uh, that can happen. And then loot respawn is disabled and airdrops are disabled. Uh, I feel that, um, you know, there's plenty enough towns and POIs and all that. And finally, drop on death is nothing. I'll keep everything on me. So that means that basically if I die and get back in the fight for content and stuff, and I'm not trying to run around like a chicken, just being silly, trying to get my bag back. It's kind of a eh, mechanic, whether or not you agree with that one or not. So a cool thing here, talking about the map again, the Super City 21 by Shade, is that it has every single POI in basically the game and in the the PEP, which is POI expansion pack. It has every single one, one of each one. So there's only one library. There's only like one of this, one of that. But everyone is in here and it's everything is handcrafted. It's a very beautiful map. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's get started on our labor request. It's very important. That's farmer. That's next. So uh, we'll help if we probably oh, not on multiplayer. What am I doing? It's O to open that up. Um, we need wood. Okay, 200 wood. Let's just keep keep gathering. And we'll head towards our um, 
nurse you back to health quest as well. Let's go ahead and repair that bad boy. Where are we going? All right. Carrots, very important. We'll grab some chrysanthemum, among other things. So um, I'm going to start editing out probably a lot of the uh, tree beating and stuff like that and resource gathering. We'll just be cut down um, to shorten it, to make the video shorter as well. But right now we're just kind of discussing things. So yeah, one of every single POI, which is going to be quite interesting. So that'll kind of give us like a, hey, let's clear these POIs, especially ones that I haven't seen before, because some of them I haven't really done. That'd be interesting. I would like some bowls. But I believe Shade said that he used a uh, tarragon to craft all this, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're almost there. Maybe one more tree. I think my second class will probably be farmer. Because honestly, um, building and food and stuff is way more important than a lot of other things. And farmer actually gets the get off my lawn shotgun perks, which is arguably like probably one of the best perks out there. All right, we finished our first quest. Let's go ahead and wear this. Very important that we also get a hard hat, which is quite nice. Let's put some stuff on our bar. Um, that way we can clear up some of our room. Let's put some of these down. There we go. We'll keep heading. Our nursery back to health is quite far, honestly. But I believe our second quest here is 100 blocks. So we can do that when we move. Be right here. Let's do 100 and craft. All right. Well, that's crafting. We'll be moving on. We're going to need a bunch of those anyway. Let's uh, bring those down. You know, actually, I should probably make a bow as well. Primitive bow. What am I missing? Wood, of course. Not for long. There we go. And then, um, do I have, I don't care. I don't have any feathers yet and I don't have any cloth. You can use it kind of in either or, but in the beginning of the game, those are very important things. Now, I could be making a spear. I think I'm going to, oh, that's a very easy tier one POI right there. Um, and it's a new one. I like how it's, it's a house on the moving frames. Ooh, duct tape. Heck yeah, early duct tape. All right, hunting rifle schematic. Now I can actually sell that. Typically, I'd be scrapping. Oh, I can't do anything with the police car. Um, no doggo? No doggo? Okay. I see that, and I get worried about doggos. Dogs are honestly one of the things that terrify me the most in this game. Very nice. We can use some of that. So... There's our first zombie. Now, we still have that spawn bonus thing, so no zombies would have spawned around us. But we got two of them here. Um, now, bleed is pretty amazing in this. I might need to make a spear, at least until I get a hunting knife. I do like knives a lot. They are my jam, but I know everybody says now, like, with the changes, that spears are just amazing. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, don't you dare. I didn't even do points. Jeez, I'm look at me getting ahead of myself. Okay, so the first point we're going to put in here is going to be... So I, I do like to take a point in, um, like, Blade Guy and some such like that. But let's, uh, let's see here. We're going to do one point in Iron Gut. That'll help us with our food. One point in Pack Mule. And then our last one, we're going to save here for at least a couple of minutes and see. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe. What is it? Blade guy. Blades. It keeps stabbing. Okay. I think we need bladed weapons one, which we haven't got yet. But that'll also help us with um, gathering. So we're going to go ahead and craft a stone spear. Put that hammer up there. We don't even need this thing. We'll just scrap it for now. Well, technically, that knife counts as a bladed weapon. Man, this nursery back to health is quite far. I should have seen how far it would be. Now, spears do use quite a bit of... Um... He's going to die. Oh, he's already dead. There he goes. They do use quite a bit of stamina. Something on the other side of that wall. We'll leave him be. 
let's go ahead and get where we're going. I do believe our... Yep. Our bow is done. Can we make arrows? We can make three. Oh, that's good enough. Let's go ahead and repair that as well. Yeah, I'm not ready for that one. That's a big one. Typically, the bigger the POI, the harder it is by, you know, usually. But uh, early game is really a lot of stamina. If you're if you're wondering why, like, you're just getting hit all the time and you're getting destroyed, it's because you're not watching your stamina. Perfect. All right, some chrysanthemum, some tea, or tea. It's going to be turned into tea, hopefully. There we go. A little bit of food there. Now, this is an orange tree. We'll go ahead and beat that bad boy down. We only get three out of it, but it's something. All right. Let's see here. Yeah. Oh, good. I was going to say first shot of the game. Look at that. One shot, one kill. Not much point in stealthing on these guys. Uh, nurse you back to health are the easiest starting quests. Um, you don't get much experience for it, but man, they are easy. You only actually have to kill three of them. How much health you get? See, so just letting the bleed do its job. Oh, see, I moved in too quick on that one. Almost took a... Oh, took her head off. Let's try the bone knife and see how we do. All right, this is about the same, actually. All right, we did get one point in knife guy, so let's see if we can... Or blade guy. See, it increases our harvest chance as well. We're going to be doing a lot of melee, especially in the beginning, so it's, a, it's not a point wasted. All right, we finished the quest, but we're going to go ahead and finish these girls off here. Uh -uh, not that stumble forward stuff. All right, she should be dead. Good, good. We'll take the yucca. I don't know if it's yucca, yucca. Y'all tell me. But either way. All right, so. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of melee, of course, because guns attract a lot of attention and we're not going to have a lot of ammo. And we're going to be saving a lot of ammo uh, for hordes because, like, you know, we can have our horde at hour five, basically. some extra wood honestly we're gonna be needing a lot i know it, it, it it's painful with a stone axe it really is what's even gonna be more painful is getting the leather that we need um to uh get through our class quest i see you i see you coming what are you doing what there we go so i'll give him a power attack in the head you don't usually knock him down but yeah, once we get a um, once we get a hunting knife, it's gonna be good game. Oh, rice milk. Ooh, you know, well, I I'll hang on to it because that's food, uh, technically. Um, you can turn cotton into cloth, which is very good. But um, I have to go to the desert to get rice. We're gonna need a lot of that stuff. We're gonna need tires as well, but that'll have to come later. Search all the things. All right, that's good, a goldenrod seed. If we were a farmer, that'd be amazing. Now, how far is this fetch? Literally, it's right next to the trader. So basically, we're gonna look for any low-hanging fruit, like mailboxes and, and zombies. And, uh, you know, he's Mo over here is considered um, low-hanging fruit. Come on, get up and take your beatings. There we go. See, I was very wasteful on stamina with that, but um, it's fine. With one enemy like that. So now whenever we use a bladed weapon, we can see with um, knife guy here, or blade guy, increases our damage, incre decreases stamina usage, and increases harvest count. So honestly, it's not really a bad thing. Um, unfortunately, these are kind of bad. The primary attack 
guaranteed bleeding, which is our left click. That's good, but it's two points, and I don't really have the points to waste on that right now. Because I still have to get my uh, laborer skills. Alright, we are level three. Speaking of laborer skills. Right, let's go ahead and hit O. I'm going to open that up. We get a place blocks, which sucks. So, um, basically, I place them and pick them right back up again because there's... Did I leave that? I did. Because there's not much point. All right, let's check this working stuff. Ooh, a stump. This is a POI stump. Uh, nine mil. Honestly, any ammo we get is good. Because we're going to need it all. All right. Stone axe. Forge ahead. Two lock picks. Um, I can try the lock picks. Ooh, let's uh check this bad boy over here and see. Not really much. We don't even have a shovel. But we're going to have one in a second. Put that up there. So Darkness Falls adds a um, lock picking game similar to like Skyrim. If you don't like it, you can just delete it from the folder, but eh, it's fun. Instead of just sitting there and spamming unlock. There we go. 44 and some lamb. More excited about the food than I am the ammo. Okay. Cash, we can sell corn seed. All right, we're getting a lot of stuff. I know it seems silly to be like, oh yeah, corn seed, you know, but <laughs> it's not bad. All right, let, this early in the game. Um, actually, let me focus here. Let's see. No, I'm not the best at this. Oh, jeez. Nice. Come on, gun. Day one gun, day one wrench, something? No. Uh, it's a lot of ammo, though. Nice mineral water. Improved fittings mod we can use. We'll put that in our helmet. Oh, no, we won't. Oh, yes, we will. Very nice. Um, I think there's a zombie in here. Nope, there's a dog. Oh, are you kidding me? I knew there was a doggo around here somewhere. What you gonna do? Alright, well. Let's see here. Can't make bandages. I don't have cloth fragments. Oh, of course, I can't type. Let's see. Well, well too late. <laughs> uh, well, we can make one now. How about that? Well, now that we thoroughly got our butt kicked, it's 16 health on day one, you know. I'm happy for the leather. I'm sad for the, the damage, that's for sure. So, you notice there is no... um timer either like no daytime or anything on our clock here and it's not going to show up got a zombie on the other side okay so we're gonna get a ton of those a lot of the books i can't eat any of this food it has a chance to give me dysentery which will basically just kill me off we can eat this though that's 15. We're almost there. And that was a bummer. I knew there was a dog around here somewhere. We'll scrap that. Um, we will take that and sell it. I, wanna, I don't want to get pinned in here, so I'm kind of watching out. All right, a little bit of clay and sand and cobble. That's good. Same over here. Man, that's such a bummer. Well, that's what happens, you know, curiosity, right? Killed the wolf. Um, this works a lot better when uh, you're sneaking because I can't hit things to save my life. 
Now these guys have armor, I think. I think the former thugs have armor. A neat little trick is to get him to walk directly. Ooh, nice, our first bag. Uh, okay, okay, and okay. Not the best. I didn't do any, I'm not gonna scrap those right now because I want to actually sell them. Um, the early iron would be nice though, actually. How much do they scrap for? Um, seven iron. Uh, they sell for 33. Keeping them would be better. All right. Small carrots. Yeah, we're pretty heavy. Um, let's uh, favorite this. We'll craft one. We're going to be... Oh, Tom Clark over here is pretty quick. Not me, though. I'm pretty slow. I got to be careful with that. Well, he got to be careful now. But, uh... Yeah, I won't be able to outrun anything. Ooh, red tea. Um, we'll take that. Let's see. Um, cooking pot, campfire, chrysanthemum, clear water. All right, I think that is a definite yes. Now, that is something we would learn for free, of course, being a farmer and doing the farmer quest, but I'm not going to be a farmer for a little while, so we'll take that. It'll probably be the second. Like I said, the second one we'll take because that'll severely buff shotguns as well. Get rid of the uh, armor reduction from shotguns and as well. Who is spitting? I don't know, but I don't want any part of that. So I guess I should say in Darkness Falls as well. Uh, oh, what's up, Thick? That uh, spitting's on the. Um, oh, you went down. Sorry to do this to you, my friend, but uh, it's you or me. Um, ooh, nine feathers. That um, spitting zombies. There are the hazmat and the fat mamas, the big mamas. They also will spit and explode like cops. So that is a change that Kane has made. You can see how she like walks all weird. So a good way to if, if you're having issues with zombies like being all wonky like that is um uh go in a car make them come to you in a cardinal direction. All right, rabbit. All right. Do I have no arrows? Oh, come on. All right, we'll craft them all and then miss. I'm not the best at this. Nice. Come on, leather. Oh, I see a chicken. I see a zombie. I see a chicken and a zombie chicken. All right. Nope. Let's try, uh... Yeah, yeah. There we go. A little bit of experience out of that. Um... Can I not make any more arrows? I can. Any more. I think she's going for the chicken. Yep. All right. Now I'm going to get rid of my chicken before she comes over here and tries to eat it. Because they will do that now. All right. So traders are not protected, or the trader area. Oh, nice, a new bag. Thanks for the shovel. <laughs> Is not protected, but um, the traders themselves are. So we'll go ahead and scrap that. Scrap that all on the floor, as they say. Scrap that for a piece of leather. I know it seems like a waste, maybe, but I'm going to need the leather here in a second. Trust me. And then if I miss this shot, I suck. All right, well, it's official. I suck. Going inside. Oh, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> oh, hello, rabbit. Um, nice. Yes, I will be with you in a second. Nope. No. 
<laughs> she tried. I got my leather though, which is arguably some of the most important. All right, I'm, look, I'm just. There goes my spear. Oops. There we go. Look, I'm just trying to go inside. Unload some of my inventory as well. I think she's dead. All right, she's definitely dead now. Yep. All right, we'll just put a chest here and doop, doop, doop. take that back. Sell that, sell that, put that, eat that. Uh, keep that, put that, sell that. Um, what am I doing? Putting the wrong things up. Gonna need that. All right. Well, I was kind of need a stone back. Let's go inside and turn this quest in. What are you looking for? I am looking for a. Hmm. That is a very difficult choice. So pipe shotgun. I don't have any shells though, so I'm gonna take the molotovs because that's just straight damage. And molotovs are not affected by like DR and stuff like that. Um, cable guys that never made it would be great because one of them might drop a wrench. Close this. I hear a friend. Hello, friend. Um, come on. Welcome to Jin's clinic. It looks like you need it. You had a rough night out there. Um, but we're closed. Go away. Yeah. Oh, boy. It's not a hunting knife, but it is a level 21 machete, which will wholeheartedly replace my bone knife. Thank you. What's up, Jen? I am back You're for these double decisions that you got. You um, get bit, did you? Nope. Makes you sound like she's gonna bite you. Get rid of that. Does ink sell? Well, you just brightened my day. I'm glad I could help you. Let's see. It sells for ten. Okay. I should have checked if that was actually cheaper. Um, I don't really have anything that I need from her. A wrench would be awesome. Of course not. But bandage would be great. I'll sell that cash. I hope you get Thanks, Jen. That. I'm uh I'm dying over here. I know I can loot all your stuff in here as well, but we'll do that later. It's like a good nighttime activity. So we got the cable guys over there. We also have this tier one fetch, so we'll go ahead and do this tier one fetch real quick. Where I get the really boring part of, um, oh, forgot to empty my inventory over here. All right, so we need to keep the, oh, chicken, 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 chicken. Where are you, my friend? On the truck. Got him. All right. Nice. I love how, ooh, I don't love how close he is. Let's go back over here. I don't love how close they are either. Go away, man. Look. I told you. I warned you. You don't listen. I swear. You tell them. All right, so we'll put that up. We'll put that. We got to keep the wood. We don't need the coin. Actually, I'll keep the coin in case we run across any vending machines. Um, put the dine mill. Guess we can probably put that torch up. All right, so we need our sticks. We need our wood. We'll plant that seed. Um, we'll crouch. Not that it's going to matter. He's going to see me here in a second. And there we go. Come on. Sharp rock. You know, we'll make 10. That's going to give us 20. Did I put feathers up? I do believe I did. I'm bad at this sometimes, I swear. And then you know, let's just make. There we go. Good enough. Yeah, as I was about to say, I don't think he's going to go down because he gets air armor. But we should be able to... No. Nope. So we should be able to double tap him, I think. Well, single tap him on that one. All right, let's uh, get some more... 
sticks made. And we'll just make 10 of those. We're going to get tons of them. It's fine. There we go. All my feathers and arrows. We'll try for big boy over there. Nice. Good hit. Oh, he blew up. Anyway, so uh, case in point, as you can see, he was damaged. Uh, he blew up. Bring those down to our bar. So Molotovs and Nail Bombs are like amazing early game, okay? Um, they uh, definitely... No, I don't even know why I have this sphere. Get rid of that sphere. They definitely pull their worth. Potato. So I feel like a lot of this early game, honestly, is just knowing what to loot, like knowing what's good loot, what to salvage when you get a wrench, stuff like that. Like knowing like, oh, this gives you mechanical parts. So this will give you mechanical parts. <laughs> I'll sell that pipe baton. Uh, let's drag that down. You can double tap trash. Oh, nice. To get more. Let's take a look at our skills while we... We got a second here. Okay, so um, I'm going to put a point in Sexy T-Rex. It's going to make our um, stamina go down quicker, or our food go down quicker, but it'll make our stamina regen quicker. And once I get a forge up, we'll make a sap, or bowls for sap, which will last. So we'll be chugging the daylights out of that stuff. Anything we can get free hits on like that is is better. Yeah, I'll be with you in a second. This is the entrance to this. Oh, repair kit and gunpowder. Um, there we go. I always go for headshots because uh, obviously headshots are the best. Ooh, I did not notice my water was so low. All right, I think I did get some sand, so we'll have to. I could probably just buy from the vending machine, honestly. Um, but, uh, yeah, as I was saying, any, like, any extra damage we can do before they actually get to us is usually better. I feel like we were just here. No, we, we had to go farther last time. All right. So let's see how many guys here spawn. Any spawn on the other side of that? We got one, two, three. You don't really have to run from these guys. You can just lazily walk away. A lot of people are like, eh, it's not really worth it. So like, if I get a lot of them, I'd use a Molotov. But I think you can just save them. Ooh. Oh, no, you don't. He's going to die. Stop and regen stamina. So we're really hoping... Or a wrench. Construction guys will drop them. And I'm just kind of pacing myself, as you can see, not getting myself into a hole or anything. Let's run into that tree, though. Give myself a little space. He's going to bleed to death. There we are. He did. And they're dead. Okay, good. So, no bag, unfortunately. That's a bummer. But, we managed to get through that without getting hit. So, we got to place 100 blocks for our labor request, which is kind of a pain in the butt. We're going to go do our fetch. Let's go ahead and bring that up. There we are. Oh, do I have that lockpick on me? I do. All right, here we go. No. No, got to listen for it. Nope. Yep. I feel like it's a little more. Nice. Excellent. Oh, crickets. Oh, first aid, ammo leather all right we'll happily take all that thank you very much a um, little extra leather goes a long way let's plant our tree sustaining nature good job i like this poi it's actually a really huge poi i think 
there's a zombie over there somewhere who just keeps spitting. Oh no. I didn't really want to stick around to find out. All right. You can double, like I said, you can double tap trash. It used to work on bags, but not anymore. All right. We will um, go ahead and grab a little bit of our food out of here. Let's uh, drink our pure mineral and eat our, not the oil. Did I already eat that ration? I didn't sell it, did I? I might have sold it like a dum-dum. Oh, good. We got the jar back. That's good. Um, Seven leather. We need 20. That's our um amount we need, basically. So... Oh, let's turn this... Get rid of that. Turn this quest Great in. Um, oh, a double barrel. Well, all right. Man eater, at least will give us more of the other zombies we want. Let's close that. So I don't have any shotgun shells. That's a bummer. But we'll bring that down. Did I eat that ration? I don't even remember. I better not have sold it. If I sold it, I swear. All right. We'll check the vending machine stuff later. Let's go do this uh, fetch quest real quick. And... Um, See what we get out of it. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. I will, uh, dang, I got red tea and goldenrod day one. Go me. That's pretty good. So day one, when you're just starting out, and we only got a 2.5 because he's facing us. Um, when you're just uh, starting off on day one. Uh, fetch quests are easier because you don't have to actually, depending on the POI, you don't have to clear it. Sometimes you could just like, you know, dig your way up to the top and just grab it and go. You know what I mean? Um, so you could technically get through a lot of these really quick. Um, now this one looks like it might be a little bit more of an issue. You can also double... Did he die? He died. Okay. You can double loot POIs. I don't like to do it because I think it's kind of cheaty. Um, but I mean, I'll loot these cars. This, <laughs> why not? I'm not gonna loot the whole POI. Um, yeah. So let's start it. Mo Power Electronics. We just have a fetch. It's on the ground floor and it's on the far side. So it looks like it's better to probably just clear the whole thing. Um, just pick this truck up. We don't have a lot of time. Trash here on the floor. Imagine there's somebody behind that counter over there. All right, well. Nobody? Oh, there we go. Well, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna say no to that. Anybody else? All right, well. We'll start looting. So these car lights we can sell. We're gonna get a ton of them. Um, yeah, so we're going to get a ton of those things. We almost, I might not, might not even really have time to loot this place unless I want to stay the night here, which I don't. I'd rather be in the trader. Yep, come on. Let's go. Help me out here. Ooh, I'm going to waste some stamina on you. There we go. Thanks for the 10 iron out of that, bud. So I'm hoping for open smash shut. Open smash shut. Oh, he got through that time. Didn't matter though. All right, uh, toilet pistol. Just herds, which are actually good in this because they help you with fertilizer for farming. Um, I, I like the polymer guys. There we go. A little mechanical parts out of that. Need some more of those. A little electrical. I don't have a wrench yet, so it's kind of a bane. I'm going to have to haul ass back. Ooh, an office chair. These are six leather. All right, there's trash on the floor. Yep, I thought so. All right, he 
You didn't see me. That's kind of funny. Oh. All right, he's probably dead. I'll just finish him off real quick. Let's grab the water. Murky. It's good enough. I'll take it. These uh, filing shells are good because they can have loot. Paintbrush is crap, but whatever. Um, where is the satchel? Oh, it's underground. Okay. Easy enough. Oh, not easy enough. I guess they did that to keep you from just, like, running gunning it. That's kind of a bummer. Almost there, though. Since I am a laborer and I do plan on... There we go. Quest done, technically. But let's, uh... Oh, not that. Let's beat into this over here. I'm going to be, uh, you know, gathering a lot of resources and stuff. And that helps you with the crafting. It helps you unlock all the workbenches and... Enough with the pipe batons, man. Of course, get everything going. More. I think he's trying to tell me something here, man. Like, huh, you really want me to use a... All right, I'm going to dig tonight, so I ain't too worried about that. Let's uh, get this done and get home. Oh, there's the main loot. No bird or anything. Let's see. Looks like a doctor, too. Or one. Or two. Oh, come on. That was... The females have weird hitboxes. Yeah, that was... Yep. Come on, I'm in a hurry. <laughs> it's pretty much nighttime. It looks like it's not, but it is. Oh, we got a steroid. That'd be nice. Here we go. Shotguns, pistols, can of tuna, wooden bow. All right, we'll have to look through all this later. We'll scrap that, take the rest. We are encumbered quite a bit, which is a bummer. But we're going to haul butt back. Let's see. Uh, battery. Yeah, excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's get out of here. Um, technically, we could do this. I don't have parkour yet, so we're going to take it a little easy on the way down. All right, good. We got a radiator. We can sell that. Later on, of course, you can um, scrap those for brass, but I don't need the brass right now. All right, let's head on out of here. Um, that sells for 40. I was like, I'll just scrap this. I do like all these lights, though. If I get really um, desperate, I can scrap them. Once I get a wrench, I can scrap them for steel. But yeah, it's, a, it's definitely nighttime. You know, it never hurts to stop and loot a trash can when it's night and death is surely imminent. I don't know why I built that. Um, I'm so used to not being able to build in the trader. I built that storage container uh, outside of the trader. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Make another one. Put it on my inventory. Search this pickup truck like a dum dum. And there's a greenie. It is 100% nighttime. Oh, hello. Yeah, I know. You're running. Oh, got a hit on me. Anybody else? No? All right, we're going to take all of that. Go inside here. I believe... A really good place. Oh, back here. Probably a good place. Oh, there's no zombies in here. There might be. Sometimes they'll spawn inside the trader, but they shouldn't respawn in the trader. So I will put this. I'll put that right there. It's a good spot, I think. And we're going to put all that back up. Sorry, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end part one here. Um, tonight, I'm basically going to go turn this quest in. And then I'm going to dig over here and start digging up some soil and stuff. I'm going to place my 100 blocks for my laborer in the 15 minutes time before day two. So starting for day two, I'll be uh, shortening these like the um, the looting and stuff. I'll be cutting all those out. But I wanted to go ahead and keep this first episode long. So I do appreciate you watching. I hope you're excited for this series as much as I am. I'll see you next time.